I was at home hoping to spend a very uh, peaceful Friday evening, you know, recuperating from the week. And I got the call from Mr. Brown congratulating me. And it was truly very exciting and and thrilling. And and as I said, I did a little dance across my bedroom, you know, gave my family hugs. And here we are now. We are very pleased that she was selected. I must upfront give a lot of credit to her mother, residing in St. Lucia, who really, uh, together, we did the building blocks. But when I look at Maya's achievement, and indeed it is an achievement, it cements for me what one can achieve when they make the right choice. She made the right choice of managing her time spending a considerable amount of time for her studies, make the choice to forego social events so that her academics could reach the standard that it has reached. Guardedly optimistic about her selection, but I am more pleased than I am surprised that she was selected. I have always been interested in the STEM fields, so as science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, you know, there's always that excitement that surrounds new, new technology, new gadgets, rockets, robots. But for me, my interest lies beyond these exciting things. And rather, I am striving to be a part of this growing movement that uses technology to benefit humanity, um, applications that continue to contribute to sustainable development, protect human rights, and I feel that's really needed in the Caribbean. Currently, I am holding an offer for the University of Bristol. So this news is, uh, you know, very encouraging and is bringing me closer to, you know, achieving that goal of going there. Uh, so hopefully study mechanical engineering. Support the efforts of your children. Give them all the support you can. There are times that you may not be able to give the financial support, but let them know that you're standing behind of them. And as I have always said to Maya and to all of my children, do your best. Once you go out there and do your best and you're satisfied that you have done your best, the other things will fall in place. So a simple message, support what your children want to do. It may not very well be that. I mean, I, I would be happy if there was a semester and semester law firm. But certainly, you see, Maya has no interest in that area. And I support her, and her mother supports her 100% in every step towards her goal. I have two pieces of advice. Of advice sorry. Um, one is to add on to what my father said, and that's actually to accept the support that you are given of us are fortunate enough to you know have this supportive circle but what i find as actually a teacher is that that support is often misunderstood as an attack on your character but really what a lot of the adults and role models in your life want to do is build you up and encourage you and want the best for you so i would say i would encourage everyone to accept that support whether it comes from the home from school the church the community and yes, that is my, that's one advice, piece of advice. And additionally, just a little quote that I love to live by. Um, and it's by Derek Sivers. And it says, what is the meaning of life? And it's, the answer is that life is nothing. Rather, it is a blank slate. And you are free to project any meaning that serves you. And you are free to do whatever you want. So I think that's a very... Um, interesting quote to live by, um, especially in this age where we try to be what, you know, what we feel that others should, what, what others feel that we should be, sorry. Yes. <laughs>